Welcome back to Maths in an Empty Classroom with me, Mr Southern. This is part two of the lesson on differentiation using the product rule. I'm just going to go through another example in this video. Uh, so here we have find dy by dx given that y equals x to the power of 4 times by 3x squared plus 7 to the power of 5. So remember we've got two separate functions of x that are being multiplied together and that's what's telling us to use the product rule, product meaning multiply. So my first function is x to the 4, I'm going to call that u, and then this whole thing here, 3x squared plus 7 to the power of 5, I'm going to call v. So u equals x to the power of 4, and v equals 3x squared plus 7 to the power of 5. I'm going to differentiate each of those separately. So differentiate u to get du dx, that's going to equal 4x cubed, just standard differentiation and then differentiate v okay again i've got a prod uh, chain rule sorry going on here so power down bracket stays the same one off the power and multiply by the differentiated bracket uh, which is 6x tidy that up 5 times 6x that is going to be 30x lots of 3x squared plus 7 to the power of 4, and that is dv dx. Now remember what I said in the previous video, get into the habit of writing down the rule that you're using, the product rule, which is dy by dx equals v du dx plus u dv dx. Students sometimes ask me, does it matter which way round we write that? And I say, well, no, it doesn't. But get in the habit of writing the V first because it will help you out with the future rule. Spoilers. Right. V du dx. V is 3x squared plus 7 to the power of 5. Multiplied by du by dx. That's multiplied by 4x cubed. Over there. Plus u is x to the power of 4 dv dx is this bit here, 30x times by 3x squared plus 7 to the power of 4. And then just a bit of manipulation to tidy it up, and it's job done. So 4x cubed can go in front of 3x squared plus 7 to the power of 5. And then we've got x to the power of 4 multiplied by 30x. So I can write 30x to the power of 5 times by 3x squared plus 7 to the power of 4. And that is a perfectly acceptable final form for dy dx. So I'm going to leave that one there. Thank you.